Hey, it's real talk. Hey, real. <laughs> getting it in. Yes, you sir. see the work. You see the hard work. Yes, I'm getting it. <laughs> The number you have dialed. Please note, the new number is. Long time no see. I see you back. What? Man. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, man? How you feel, Joe? Hey, good. Chilling. Yes, sir. You ready to get this money? Let's get it. Let's get this shit, man. We got a chest today. We up in here. About to get it in. This my homie, Deontay. You know. You know, we about to hit chest. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? About to smack it. It's money. We were just talking about how we work out by ourselves. Ourself. You know, if, if you don't work out by yourself, it'll never, never, never get, get done. Never get done, bro. Ever. You know, people going to send you off. Something always going to come up. Motherfucker, I'll make you excuses. Know, excuses always. come up. Ain't no excuses. No. You Let's know, we getting, it to, we getting together yes, today, sir. and we're going to get it done for you. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Hey, oh, oh, that endurance. There you go. Two. Three. Hey, he got diabetes, I got lupus. What's your Damn excuse? Ain't What's no your excuse? excuse? Yeah. You know, we're no. getting it in. Yes, you sir. see the work, you see the hard work. Yes, sir, I'm getting it. <laughs> yes, sir. Who's your check? Okay. Okay. You're gonna be a big machine. Get that engine. <laughs> <laughs> Ten more. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know that was that was fucking crazy. <laughs> Right here. And then try it. 
Ah, ¿Qué? 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 This is my third interview. I'm knocking these interviews down. Knocking them out, man. Knocking them out. That's what's so, up. That's what's up. Yeah. This my this my homie Deontay. Been knowing him for for about like what five years. About five years. Yeah, something like that. Um, he was originally supposed to be uh, doing any kind of projects with me a while ago, but we Definitely. finally linked up. He hit me on Snapchat. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat. Follow my boy on Snapchat, man. At J Lamar eighty. And um, you could check me out on there. But anyway, we were supposed to collab on something for a long time. And he finally hit me up. was like, yo, I want to get down with you. Yes, I want to wanna be a part of your come up. Yes, hey, so big support. Yes, sir. Big support. So uh, I said, let's do something. Let's do something. And we finally got it done. Uh, we worked out earlier, a couple minutes ago, actually. Yeah, Jay got and, done. Um, and he wanted to do the interview as well, so we get okay. the interview done, and um, a lot of good stuff today. So, okay, yeah. So, basically, um, I wanted to share with you guys, people, on my journey, my fitness journey. Uh, Deontay, he's a friend. He just reached out to me on social media. It was like, I want to be a part of what you're doing. I like your fitness journey. I like what you've done. And yes, sir. Um, he was. He just. Part of the crowd, we was talking about in the gym, mm -hmm. like uh, how fitness got to engulf you, it got to oh. consume you. You know, when you exactly. get in the gym, it just, you know, you just go to a different level. Yes, so, uh, yeah, I said I'm gonna put him on the show so he here, and um, he wanted to do an interview with me. So, what made you want to come on uh, on the show and, and and link up and collab with me? Man, Joe, uh, shit, like I say, man, I've been saying you doing your thing with the fitness. I'm a big fitness head, you know what I'm saying? You're a uh, positive person. I'll be seeing you doing your yeah, shit on yeah, Snapchat. Yeah. You know, I got to be a part of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You need more people out here like you, Joe. You yeah. know? Exactly. You know? Yeah. Um, and like you from the west side, right? Yeah, I'm from the west side, yes, West sir. side, yeah. yeah. So another Chicago. Yes, sir, 290. <laughs> exactly. Yes, sir. So we from Chicago on the west side. West positive side. people doing positive things, yeah, you got know? To. So, um, yeah, we met. We was at like a GNC. GNC yes, sir. Yeah, we was at a GNC over there on uh, Cicero, Cicero and yep. North Avenue. And um, he was like, uh, he seen me and I showed him my Instagram page or something. And he he been down ever since. ever since. You man. know what I'm saying? So back in 2015, probably. About, yeah, about, like, yeah, about 2015. Up. So uh, he been with it, you know. So, and as you know <laughs> already, I have lupus, you know. So. It's a struggle. Yeah. And um, Deontay's special too because he got diabetes. Yeah, man. And, um, yes, sir. He's in the gym. He's fighting Every his day. illness. So, ain't no excuses. You know, tell us about your diabetes. Then. Oh, you? man. Shit. I found that was shit probably about, what I am, 28? Probably about like 11 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I was still young. You know, right. shit, I ain't know what was going on. Just, uh -huh. just out the blue. It just, just hit you out just the, just back like out me. the blue. Like yeah, me. That's yeah, how Lucas yeah, yeah. hit me. You know? But shit, ever since I found out, Joe, I've been treating my body better, been eating better, eating less of this, and you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Less of that and taking more, you know, more good in it than bad. bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, it's been a struggle, you know, been battles throughout the years. But shit, like I say, man, I see your journey. You know? it's, man, hey, that's hey, what it's about. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Positive motivation. So, man, shit, right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I've been taking care of, you know, taking care of my body, my mind, my spirit, you know? Right. And just, shit, yeah, trying to live as long as I can, you know? Exactly. And and what, what made me want to reach out to him, he's, uh, Deontay, you pretty lean. Yeah, You yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? Dad. He's pretty lean himself, like, 
looks, it shows that he take care of, of himself. Most you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and he wants to be in the gym. It's, oh, yeah. it's um, few and far between. You find people who wants to be in the gym and Most consistent. We was talking about earlier how. You don't have no workout. I don't partners. work out with nobody. Yo. Yeah. That's what I've been trying to get over. <laughs> so, hey, I'll be in there by myself, Joe. I can't make excuses for myself, you know. Exactly. Even though it's hard, you know, you need somebody sometimes. You got to push you. you know, yeah, you want level. that push. Yeah, but, but you ain't going to find that. That's exactly. rare. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't um, going to make noise. So I just go in there by myself, do what I got to do. You know? Yeah. Even yeah. though we got these obstacles in the way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He dealing with diabetes. I'm dealing with lupus. And, um, those are success stories that don't get shown. You it know, does. people does. don't see the hard work and dedication. And you got a daughter too. Yeah, I got two. You got a, you know, other things yes, going sir. on. So, uh, I, I take my hat off to stuff like that. Man, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate so, that, Joe. Yeah, appreciate so, that. Um, it's a struggle, and that's the reason why I want to bring him on too because I just found out he had diabetes. Actually, to be honest, but I seen that uh, through the years. You see that uh, he really wanted. He's consistent. Like he like, where you at, Joe? When are we gonna do this interview? Well, when, man. when I'm gonna get on this co collab with you? You know. And uh, we in McDonald's right McDonald's now, right now, making you know? it happen. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? So uh, nothing but positivity. You know. And um, yeah, we've been at this a long time. Like, yes, so how did like your diabetes first come? Like, how did you find how out? How did I find out? Oh man, how did I find? Man. Being admitted in the hospital for, you know what I'm saying, for, for what I thought was uh, constipation. Oh, but they, oh man, Joe, you look, you look more, you know, more sick. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't look like you just constipated. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Man. So they were like, man, you, uh, they just asked me a question like, man, you diabetic? better? Like, no, I don't think so. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, my father had it, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they were like, man, let me run some tests on you. And I'm like, all right, cool. So, oh, shit, they came out here, you, uh, you diabetic and this and that. I'm, at first, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, my pops had it, so shit, it's probably hereditary or something, so I'm like, I ain't look at it as nothing, but, you know what I'm saying, at first, when I when I first found out, I, I really wasn't trying to, you know, pay attention to what they was talking about, I was still eating what I was yeah, eating. Yeah, yeah, right, me too. Fucked me up, and um, I don't know if I can curse on it, but it messed me up. <laughs> cool. Cool. Hey, it's real talk. Hey, <laughs> real <laughs> But uh, uh, it for real. Yeah, it messed me up, so, you know what I'm saying, so once I been admitted for the second time for, you know, complications with it. I just like, nah, man, I can't even, you know what I'm saying? Keep right. on playing with my life and my health like that. Right. So um, after that, I just started, you know, doing what I got to do. Stop eating. I, like, I ain't ate pork in probably about seven, eight years now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I cut out on the sweet. You know what I'm saying? All the little carb intake, all the bad carb intake, mm -hmm. cut, it, cut it out. Just, you know, stop putting more vegetables and fruits and, all, you know, all the good fruit, fruit toast and all that up in me. So, yeah, I just, man... Just stuck it out like that, Joe. So you was never overweight? No, I wasn't never overweight. I want to say uh, probably back then, I was probably, probably 175, 180, something like that. So I wasn't really too much overweight, you know? No, no. And he's an athlete like myself. He played yeah. football. Most definitely. And, um, and through high school. Yeah. And we got a four-year uh, age difference. I'm four right. years older than him. Okay. So he played high school football. You messed up your shoulder. Tell yeah, me yeah, yeah. Shoulder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, me being a... Uh, uh, high school athlete, you know what I'm saying? I was on the football team for three years. So I tore my, my, my labor and my shoulder, you know what I'm saying? I used to play linebacker, safety, cornerback, all that throughout high school. And uh, shit, one day I, I go for a hit, you know what I'm saying? I get up, my shoulder starts to hurt. I felt it lean a little bit. So uh, the next day, you know what I'm saying? My pops took me to the hospital and I did the, you know, start, you know, the x-rays. Yeah. And they did you know, MRIs yeah, yeah, and stuff. They told me I had a torn, uh, torn labor, rotated cuff. So they did surgery not too long after. Shit, like I say, man, uh, that that was probably the worst man rehab I ever had in my life. You know what I'm saying? I broken, got broken ankles, bones, fingers, and all that. But that was that was the worst. I was probably like uh, sidelined for about six months, man, half a year with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, that yeah. hey, that 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 process, that that get back, that that was real, yo. Right. That was real. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Um, most definitely. Yeah, I, I've been like I tore my shoulder while in high school playing football, mm -hmm. so I can. Um, I, de I could definitely relate to what, what you, you going through with your shoulder yeah. and all that stuff. Because we was in the gym. We had Man. a test day today. We just got it in. Yes, sir. And um, you could see the side effect. Like, yeah, you yeah. could see the difference in his strength um, in his shoulder. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, I'm uh, 
that goes to, that's more motivation for you. You know what I'm saying? He got uh, dealing with diabetes, injuries, and all that stuff. So um, getting it done, no excuses every day. You know what I'm saying? And um, that goes to show you consistency is big. You know, uh, you got to be consistent in it. So what is your goal like in fitness? Like what do you look to achieve? Man, Joe, honestly, man, I just want to stay lean, stay, you know what I'm saying, stay healthy. You know, live as long as I can possibly, but shit, uh, like I just want to, you know what I'm saying, good figure, man. I don't want to be, you know, one of them old guys, 50 and overweight and, you know what I'm saying, got health problems. And yeah, shit. I'm yeah, trying to, yeah. You know, like I say, man, I got to look real, you know, look out there and stay, stay here, folks. So, right. I'm definitely trying to stay active, man. Yeah, 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 that's big. So, yeah, most definitely. thinking about the future, not oh, yeah. just now, you know, um, a lot of positivity, you know. Like I said, he from like, I'm on my last interview, I had my guy SB on here. We was talking about growing up in Chicago and um, in the inner city and staying out of trouble. This is another positive story, you know. Um, you know how hard it is to stay out of trouble. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It's just, hard. Because these trouble is easy to find. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll just it's stay around from. every corner. Yeah. It's like death around the corner, yes, like sir. Tupac said. Yeah. So it's like, uh, tilt, tilt your hat to that, man, because... Uh, it's, it's scary in a way. Yeah. So, um, what kept you off the streets? I'm curious, really. What man, uh, kept you off the streets and wanted to go down the positive? What kept me off the streets, man, yeah. seeing a lot of my friends, you know, families getting murdered out here in these streets or doing, you know what I'm saying, a long time in jail. You know, I got a brother in jail facing 70 years. I ain't what? Six, seven, 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 zero. Seven, zero. seven zero. And I had a long day That's hard, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, that shit hard, yo. You know what I'm saying? So, I just man take I, I take they you know what what they went through they obstacles they they tried to overcome but and but they couldn't you know what I'm saying so now they doing that time or they you know what I'm saying not here no more so I just look at that as uh you know what I'm saying like motivation, motivation to stay away yeah. from yeah yeah, yeah. most definitely then right. you know these little girls that I gotta raise you know what I'm saying I'm trying right. to be here for them Role you know models. you know yeah, yeah. so yeah for that's real? what stay you know steer me away from that you know? oh okay. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. It's crazy, man. Yeah. So, how long you been working out, though? You oh, say? man. Oh, shit. On and off, probably shit. A couple years, but I'm trying to get up now, you know, consistently. You know, consistent. I ain't gonna lie, I've been, it's probably been like four, five months I've been there consistent. You know what I'm saying? But before yeah. then, I, I got, you know, I got sick. So, I missed like a month. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But before then, I was in there too. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just probably missed like June to have a July then. Right. Got back in the yeah. 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 So we, well, I mean, it's, it's important to know we all people too. Even myself, a lot of people see me on social media and say, "Oh, look, he's never down." You know, I get down too. Right. You know, I'm a, I'm a human being too, and um, you know, I go through my ups and downs, but uh, we find my way back in there um, with new goals, new new uh ambitions and new ways to get in there and um push myself to uh go further even though i reached a high level of fitness right. before i want to top that yeah it's bad as uh you know as good as i looked at one point i want to top that you know uh it's like i don't understand why people say um how people get so depressed and, and be like they don't have nothing to live for right. it's always it's always shoot something. for yeah it's always shoot for you know, there, there's money, there's uh, fitness, there's uh, optimal health, yeah. there's so many things you can reach for, yeah. and um, I Definitely. just think about that, so um, fitness, like, well, I don't, our story ain't that similar, yeah. but uh, I was a fat boy coming up, right. uh, I so, always wanted to lose weight, right. From since I can remember, I wanted to lose weight, I wanted to uh, look really good, right. and then when I turned 20, mm -hmm. I was like, for, for all my years that didn't pass by, I need to make up for that. I need right. to get fit. I need right. to be in shape. And then lupus popped up. Right. So, I, so I was like, it was more reason for me to uh, get in shape and um, fight, you know, this sickness also. Um, it's been a battle. As good as I make it look right. to some, it's been, about, yeah. it's been a battle, you know. Yeah. It's been about, that's why I say I looked up to people like you who want to be in the gym, who's searching for that answer. Right. You know, you know it's out there. You know you can look better and you want when that. You know, you don't, don't talk about it. You actually do it. You be know, about it, you know. You actually uh, 
try to find the answers and you you're trying you know a lot of people as a trainer you're gonna run into a lot of people who say they want it but they really don't want exactly. it you know what i'm saying they they'll even come with money sometimes and they'll try to pay you you can't pay me off on this right you yeah, gotta come to work yeah, every I'm day. Back. Show up. You yeah. know, when you yeah. get hit, you come back. Hey, look, man. Like I was saying, Joe. Like, you know, a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? They ask me to train them. They want to. Oh, okay. They gotta pay me to train. Yeah. You to come to the gym. <laughs> come. And you gonna you know, you gonna get trained for <laughs> free, man. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not charging for this, man. <laughs> yeah, all, yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, it's it's to that point to me. Sometimes I'm like, just show up. Yeah, that's just it. Just show up. That's it. You know, and um, people don't get that. You know. And uh, that's why when I see something like this, I be like, man, let's do it. Let's. Uh, when I see something in you, yeah. I be like, man, I see it. So um, he's serious, you know, Definitely. even though he going through what he going through. Definitely. You know, we can relate because we both got illnesses we dealing with. But, uh, you know, I, I can feel that. Yeah. Hey, he got diabetes, I got lupus. What's your Damn excuse? Ain't What's no excuse your excuse? Now. You know, we're getting it in. Yes, you sir. see the work, you see the hard work. Yes, I'm getting it. <laughs> yes, sir, we back. Yes, sir. But, uh, yeah. So, I wanted to ask you, uh, diabetes. You know, this is a good chance for you to talk to people with diabetes, not just lupus. Right, 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 right. Uh, so, which one? There's two types of diabetes. Yeah, definitely two types. Uh, me personally, um, I'm type one. Type you know, one. Yeah, it's, it's more manageable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's basically you just shit watching what you eat and yeah. you know covering you know so basically just like your your pancreas stop working you just gotta you know provide the insulin to you know right. take it down or whatever the case may be but so you yeah. take shots yeah like, how think, often uh, shit, every day shit multiple times to be honest with you oh, wow. yeah at right. first you know what I'm saying like me growing up I ain't fuck with needles you know <laughs> but now I'm used yeah, to what? I ain't fuck with needles man at all yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even you know what I'm saying uh but yeah now shit, I'm used to it you know uh, but like I say shit if you if you eat right and you manage your shit right you ain't gotta take that shit you, you ain't gotta take it you know what I'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. I feel this that way with lupus too yeah. if you eat right and uh, you exercise yeah. you can avoid so yeah. many yeah. symptoms yeah. and problems, problems. Yeah. with illnesses yeah. so that's why I promote yeah. fitness man. Well, definitely well, definitely Hell yeah. yeah so you gotta take care of yourself I think that's probably another reason why I go hard in the gym you know you know just to maintain that, that health, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That certain health, yeah. Yeah. So people people take their health for it uh, just as a given. People don't understand that as we age, the body is forgetting how to do certain things, right. it's forgetting how to form, function properly. Right. And over Basically the years, right. you're not 20. Exactly. You're not you, you're not you're not 15 no more. Right. You know, as the years go by, you have to maintenance. You have to take care, care of your body. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's not right. a given. Exactly. Because your body is constantly changing. So yep. you being in the gym, you eating right, you making better decisions. Okay. Um, you're only bettering yourself. You're making yourself better. You know. So I like to think that I like to think that uh, I'm not doomed of having lupus. You not doomed having diabetes is just the obstacle for us both to get around, get around yes, you know what I'm saying so um, take it but, uh, next question uh, yes, you in the sports yeah, we, yeah. we ain't never hooped or nothing though nah, we ain't never hooped nah, I'm a big sports we, fan though we ain't played football or nothing either. Nah. so what you like Shit, to be honest, shit, all of them, baseball, basketball, baseball, football yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. yeah the world series starts today yes, sir. You yeah. know? who so, you got who you got, who you got? I like the Astro. Astro. Yeah, I like the Astro, but I'm going for the underdogs. The right? underdogs. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm an underdog. Me too, me too, me too. Yeah, I like to see the underdogs yeah, win. I'm going to so, watch uh, though. Yeah, so that's going to be an exciting series. Yeah. But um, what about football? Oh, yeah, I love football. Yeah. Though. You know, I'm a Bears fan, of course. Exactly. Me too. Yeah, I'm a Bears fan. <laughs> you know, uh, I hate that we lost uh, the other day, but it is what it is. Get yeah. me chuck out of there. Right. But, um, yeah, you know, I mess with all three sports, though, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I got a favorite player for all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basketball. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm a Bulls fan, Joe. You know, yeah, I got yeah. a, yeah, yeah, I love the Bulls and the uh, Houston Rockets. You know, James Harden. Houston Rockets? Yeah, James Harden. Oh, That's okay. my favorite player right there, man. Oh, okay. Can't stop that, man. For yeah. real? Of course. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, you know, the Bulls <laughs> my favorite team, though. 
know. Who your favorite basketball player all time? All time? Oh, man, you know, I gotta go with Mike, man. But besides Mike, you know. Yeah, uh, besides Mike, yeah. I, shit. D Dwayne Wade. Oh, really? That's my boy right there. Oh, okay, I like Wade. That's my boy right there. Man is Allen Iverson. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. hey, look, me and my men, we be having. <laughs> a lot of debates between Dwayne Wade and AI is that, top, that, that top three. Because, yeah. you know, to be honest, you know, it's Mike, Kobe, Kobe. then who that third shooting guy? Who, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I got Dwayne Wade over AI, Joe. Yeah, offer. <laughs> that's what the debates come that's in. Touchy, at. That's touchy, that's touchy. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, Joe. You know, but yeah, yeah. Joe. That's oh, my boy. Okay. Uh, Shout out Dwayne Wade, by the way. Yeah, I like Dwayne Wade. I just didn't like that pairing of LeBron. Boss, yeah, I just didn't like. I thought it was a cop out, but the NBA's evolving, so yeah. it'll, you know, change. We needed some change. Who you rocking with on the music? You know, oh man, on the music. Hey Joe, I'm a music fanatic, Joe. Yeah. So I, I see you on Snapchat. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a music yeah. fanatic, Joe. Right, right, right. But you know, Joe, I like you talk about like rap, Joe. You know, yeah, I, you yeah. know, I mess with all the Kendricks and you know, J Cole and shit. J Yo, J you Cole. You know, Young Thug, that's my boy. But um, you know, I, I'm old school too, so I'm yeah, like yeah. about Nas, J D Kiss. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I be saying you be playing it, you know, all that. Yeah. Shit. But <laughs> right. yeah, I know I mess with Jay Z all of them. They're my boys. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm a. I like it all, but I'm more old school. Like the young, the young stuff is getting too out of control. Yeah, funny. Joe. Even for me though, like for real? Uh, yeah, all yeah. that little mumble rap. I don't yeah, really, I don't get out. No, no, like yeah. all that. Man. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah. But uh, so I, I had a question for you. Like uh, I know uh, you being into fitness though. So like, what you be doing besides that? You know, promote your brand and all that. I'm trying to come up with a solid brand. I need the help of my viewers to help me come up with a brand for fitness. Yes, sir. And um, I want to take this far well, on YouTube, and I want to build a business where I can help people get in shape and overcome their illnesses. Uh, not just with lupus, but if you're going anything. through anything, really. Like, every, I think everybody needs to be in shape. You need to take care of yourself. Um, don't depend on a doctor to save you from whatever illness you're going through. It's up to you. Yes, sir. You are in control. You go to sleep with that body every night. You are the person that determines what goes into your body for the most point. You know, so um, it's up to you. And then, you know, just we just got to live. You know, at the end of the day, you're responsible for yourself. So that's what I want to do. Yes. And, um, yeah, I want to go far. Yeah, I like that, Joe. Yeah. So yeah. Kids, you got? I'm the kid. Yeah. I got two, right? Uh, two daughters. Two daughters. Yeah, two daughters. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. how old are you? Uh, five and two. Five and two. Yeah, five and two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool, man. Hey, he's getting it done. Man, Joe. How long you been working at this, your job? Oh man, I've been uh for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's pretty easy, Joe. You know? yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't want to, you want to yeah. have your own brand. Um, own. Yeah, you, you want to have your own, your you want to be making money. Yeah. You know, you want to be in control of mm, your definitely. destiny. Mm, you definitely. know, you you know that's right what on. I want to do this too, because uh, you in control, you, you know, you can do what you want to do, you know. Yeah. And um, I'm looking for positive people, like, because the hood is, it get looked upon negatively, you know. Right. But a lot of good, a it's lot of good a lot of good people, people yeah, from the hood. Yeah, so uh, here's a platform for them to shine, you know. Yeah. Uh, positive people doing good things, and you know, That's what I'm saying, even Joe. people with struggles like myself, you know. You got struggles, yep. you know. Hey man, Joe, it's have you can make it out, Joe? You know, whether you know. With the fitness like you doing, you know, mm -hmm. rapping or athletes, anything, man. anything, yeah. Just, you know, they, you gotta focus on your on your craft, man, and shit. Stay, you know, stay hungry. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, gotta stay hungry stay and, and stay uh, committed and, and and consistent. Consistent, you know. Yeah. So uh, that's what I'm about. That's what I want to do. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So um, that's what I want to ask you. That's what I want. How you, you said this before, so mm -hmm. what is your routine like? Like, what do you work on, like, per se? Oh, man. I mean, it varies. You know what I'm saying? Like, me, I I, I could say I be in the gym five, five, five. days, about five days a week, but I work on, you know, different. 
body parts. Body, yeah, body parts. So, you know, like at the beginning of the week, I'll probably do, you know what I'm saying, chest or, and back and all that. And towards like the end of the week, I, that's when I do my legs. So I can get, get them two days to rest. You know what I'm right. saying? So, yeah. Uh, but it, it, it differs, though. It, it varies. I don't just do like on Wednesday, I'm going to just do, you know, biceps or triceps. I'll mm -hmm. switch it up. You know, oh, I'll okay. switch it up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I don't go in there just do all, you know, everything. Chase, all, yeah. Every day. Not every nah. day. No. Nah. Yeah, yeah so especially with right. guys, they just think you're supposed to just do chest nah. all the time. And, nah. Oh, you don't supposed to do legs. Oh, that's for girls. That's nonsense. Yeah, it's nonsense. We all got human bodies. You got to address all those body parts. Oh. And um, hopefully you want your body to look really good all over, not oh, just... Time. Your upper body, body just look, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like you want symmetry throughout the whole body. Yeah. So um, I took that to heart when I first learned that, that you want to train the whole body and you want to look good throughout, mm -hmm. you know? We trying to preserve ourselves for the future, yeah. you know? You trying to live long and you want to live long well. You right. just don't want to be unhealthy and can't do this, can't do that, can't go upstairs, yeah. can't. Everything and, hurt, you yeah, know. You know, they making it hard for us as black people, mm -hmm. I can say for us to, you know what I'm saying, to to stay healthy, you know what I'm saying? Just look at all the stuff they, they, they just throwing, throwing at Throwing out. You yeah. know what I'm saying, Joe? Yeah. Just like what we at now, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They be having fucking motherfucking four for four, five for five. <laughs> they offer you all this food for all that this, money. Yeah. They think yeah. about it, why though, you know? Yeah. That they putting all these substances and you know, all that shit in these foods and shit, yeah. you know? And, and we getting lazy as a country. Yeah, you getting it, lazier you get lazy. as time goes on. You know what I'm saying? Look at so, all these Uber Eats. You ain't got to yeah. go out to eat no more. They bring it to you. And, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So, yeah, Joe. Yeah, something. so, well, you definitely got to stay on this stuff, you know? Just just don't let it go past you without yeah. saying nothing. Yeah. You know, don't accept, you know, yeah. being overweight. Yeah. I hear people say, oh, I look good big and, um, uh, this is my size. That is crazy. That's crazy, Joe. That's crazy. That is crazy. We all supposed to be slim, fit, and healthy. Nope. You exactly. know, you ain't you don't have to suffer. You shouldn't. Your ankles shouldn't be hurting because you overweight. You back know what I'm saying? Your hurt. back yeah, shouldn't be yeah. hurt. You know what I'm saying? On, you you should be able to back. walk with your kids. You yeah, know, yeah. It, it's nonsense. Stop yeah. being lazy. Take control of your life. Most definitely. And um. You know, promote living well. Oh, yeah. I, I love my Doritos. I love this Italian beef. Right, it's yeah. just stupid. It's just nonsense. We, yeah, but we're not saying we don't eat all that. Yeah, I'm you not know? saying. Yeah, we're exactly. Not, yeah, I'm know? not saying. I'm just but saying. Gotta come definitely. on, wake up. Because, like, yeah. look, as me personally, like, I know if I if I eat something or that I'm supposed to, you know what I'm saying, like a cheat day or something, yeah. I know I got to work it off. Man, I, I got to get back at it. Yeah, you got to get back at it twice as hard. With a vengeance. It's exactly. over with. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So. Uh, just keep that in mind. Like yes, the foods that we love, yeah. like the, the the burgers, the the pizza, pizza all, the, that. all that stuff. You gotta understand that stuff got created over time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You only love this because it it was created. You know. Um, and those creators of this food, they made it for you to keep coming back to buy it. Right. You can live off eating greens yeah, and more, stuff yeah. and not even yeah. know it. Exactly. You know, if you could eliminate all this crappy food, you wouldn't even have those those temptations, those those mm -hmm. feelings towards yeah. food. That's what it is, feelings. It's feelings, right. Yeah. That's so if is. you could erase that, that's all we is. all would be healthy and, Man, you know, that's, all it is. that's, that's what I'd be thinking. I'd be like, that's what I just did with pork. I just gave it up, cold Yeah, I just gave it up. Just gave now, it I don't, up. I don't, I don't, I don't eat pork. Nah, either. that's what I'm saying. Like, like, like nowadays, if I smell it, 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 it just make my stomach hurt or my head. Yeah, like and you like, walk yeah. away from yeah, it. Yeah, I walk away from it. Yeah. We we hooked on food, so yeah. Um, just come to the realization that we hook, and you don't need this. You don't yeah. need sweets. You don't right. need all this extra man-made crap. Yeah, yeah, and, um, yeah. That's what it is. It, yeah. Man, they make these foods for sale. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. You know, pockets Profit. for their pockets. Yeah. Profit. Yeah. yeah. So, um, just realize that and you'll be fine. Yeah. You know, so. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap this interview up. You know, this is my man, Deontay. We're going to leave your links to your Facebook, your okay. Snapchat. Your, you on Instagram? Oh, man. I am, well, you know, I ain't no social media here. <laughs> right. I, I got them. Snapchat? I'm, yeah, I got Snapchat. Yeah, I got Snapchat. Yeah, got we can Snapchat. do Snapchat for him if you want to know more about Deontay. Oh, definitely. And um, we're going to have you on the uh, 
for another interview. Well, most definitely, yeah, Joe. Yeah. Whatever what, what, what you need me, I'm there, Joe. Hey, he told hey, me whatever with you need it, me, man. I'm, I'm so, there, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. Man. Follow. Follow, follow yeah, my brother right follow here, Follow me on for my real. journey, and let's do this. Yeah. And um, as always, thank you for watching. And he, he makes some pretty good milkshakes. <laughs> yeah. smoothies. 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 Yeah, I got you. Yeah, Look at my smoothie <laughs> yes, video sir. and uh, learn from yes, that. Sir. So. Yeah, like as always, thank you for watching. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace. Hey, get that money, bro. <laughs> Hey, he got diabetes, I got lupus. What's your Feel excuse? Me. What's no your excuse? excuse? You know, we're no... getting it in. Yes, you sir. see the work, you see the hard work. Yes, I'm getting it. <laughs> yes, sir.